Welcome back to the Fox 18 Sports Sunday Show. Again, we are rejoined with a few members of the Durant Wildcats football team in house. And Nolan, we're going to start with you. Now you guys are getting ready for the second round of the playoffs against Beckman Catholic. How excited are you guys for this upcoming week? Uh, it's it's super exciting. So what we're going to have to do is come out, practice all week, and it's actually kind of nice that we played that game on Thursday because now we got that extra uh, day of practice to get ready for these guys because we know they're going to be good. They're going to want to come back and beat us twice in a row, so we got we to come ready. There you go. And there's no doubt in my mind that you guys are definitely going to be ready. Keegan, coming to you as the quarterback, as the leader of this offense, what do you guys have to do to make sure you put the ball in the end zone and do it a lot this week? Well, Beckman, Beckman is a high-flying offense. They throw the ball a lot. They like to, uh, last year or this, earlier in the year when they played us first, they, they tried to establish the run and they started throwing it. Um, I think controlling the possession, um, offense and defense, we have to turn the ball over and we have to, to keep the ball in our possession. And I think that's the biggest thing is um, as long as we have, have the ball in, in a kid like Nolan's hands and, and on our, our side, we can, we can put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, you guys, uh, like I said earlier, you guys have been so much fun to watch and you have so many weapons. Coach, we're going to come down to you there in the newsroom. What do you think the keys to the victory will be for this upcoming game against Beckman Catholic? Uh, matching their intensity early. Uh, they're a very physical team, so we need to be physical with them, uh, but also playing under control and emotional wise so we don't make any to win the turnover battle in that way and then uh, capitalize uh, when the opportunities come. That's going to be it. Uh, I think we're very even teams going into it, and uh, I think that uh, we're ready for a really good battle against them. It sounds like a coach. And you mentioned a few things on defensive side of the ball. Let's stay on that defensive side of the ball. What are you guys going to have to do defensively to handle their balanced attack? Because when I was looking up their stats, they had a little over 1,000 yards through the air and a little over 1,000 yards on the ground. What are you guys going to have to do to stop them uh, defensive-wise? We're going to have to make sure that, like I said, we play physical up front with them because they're going to want to set the tone that way. And uh, what Keegan alluded to earlier is what we're really going to have to do is we want to make them throw. Uh, they have a very nice quarterback, and Offerman's a very nice quarterback for them, and uh, they have a nice running back number 24. So we're going to have to balance things out there and just stay on our toes. And I think control the, the uh, field battle uh, where we're at in the field-wise to make sure that uh, they have to go full distance if they're going to try to score against us, not short fields. So just make sure we take care of the ball. I think there's no question this game is going to be one of the most hyped games of the year for you guys and for us to be able to cover it. Nolan, we're going to come to you. You're one of the best running backs in the state, as I mentioned, and probably the best sophomore in the state last year as a freshman. You got invited to an Iowa game, if I'm not mistaken. Can you tell me a little bit about that and, and you kind of your process through your recruiting process? Yeah, so I did get invited last year, and that was, like, I went to it, and it was just like to... Uh, see all the facilities and get to know some of the coaches and the coaching staff. But they told me back then that I am only a freshman and now I, I, I got three more years to play. So, I mean, if they don't start rolling in by my junior and senior year, people will start calling. So. Well, I don't think there's any question that you are one of the best in the state. And it's, you have so much fun out there and you can tell it and it's just fun to watch you. Keegan, we're going to come over to you. You being a senior, how grateful are you to be able to get a senior season with everything going on with COVID-19? Well, I've been, I've been very thankful. Um, going into my, or at the end of junior year, I thought we were lucky to, um, to be juniors. And, and I figured that it'd be gone come fall and it hasn't been. So um, when we got the call that we're going to football practice, I was, I was very, very um, happy and excited to play with my boys one last time. All right, Keegan, staying with you, what are you going to remember most about being part of this program and playing for the Wildcats? Well, the memories on that field, um, that's, that's the biggest part. Um, I'd say, I'd say the, the life lessons that the coaches and the, the players have taught me um, have, have helped me mature and become a... Um, a man. I mean, I've, that, that field has, has played a huge role in the influence on my life. And Coach, real quick, we want to come to you for the last question. How proud are you of this team this year? And again, um, how proud are you of the seniors on this year's squad? Our six seniors are phenomenal. Uh, they have uh, stepped up uh, and uh, done everything we've asked of them. And uh, so happy to have like Aiden Flockhart came out this year and for senior season and he's given us a weapon and Tony and 
Brian Graves, and I can just go through, and, and Caden McCormick joined us this year, and uh, just, it's amazing, all those seniors, and I can't tell them enough how hard they've worked, and Cameron Rogerio, too, and I'm not going to forget him, because he actually came back from injury and has worked his tail off for us, so just a phenomenal senior class, and they've really helped set the tone for this year, and they've done a really nice job, and uh, it's going to help us go on further in the playoff run. And again, it's been so much fun to watch you guys. So thank you so much for coming in and joining us on a Sunday, taking a bit out of your Sunday day. We want to thank the Durant Wildcats for coming in. Good luck with this week when you take on Beckman Catholic. That's it for Fox 18 Sports Sunday. Have a great night.